guy. What we're doing is for the benefit of the school. You just think about it. Good hustle, Casey. What was that about? What? Alvin Purvis. Oh, we were just talking. Everything all right? Yeah. Mr. Taylor. Yes. I'm Larry Childers. This is my son, David. He's a junior, and we're new to the school this year. Well, good to meet you. What can I do for you? Well, I just wanted to introduce myself to you, and David wanted to know if it was too late to try out for the team. You a football player? Well, I've always played soccer, but I figured I could try out as a kicker. Okay, well, I got a pretty good kicker, but I don't mind letting you try out. Jonathan, come here. This is Jonathan. He holds for our main kicker, Joshua Webster. Jonathan, this is David Childers. He wants to try it as a kicker. Why don't you two go out there and try a few kicks just to get your feet wet a little bit? All right, sure. Thank you, sir. If you don't mind, I'll just hang around until practice is over. No problem. Good to meet you. Y'all just moved here? Yeah, from Athens. My dad got a job teaching at the college. That's cool. I'm used to kicking soccer balls, but I thought I could at least try out. Well, Josh is a pretty good kicker, but he's also a receiver. I think he likes that better than kicking. Here you go. We're brought for a little while. Not tonight. You're coming home. Why? Don't argue with me. Let's go. No, Dad. I'll be home later. Matt! That old man still come every week to pray in the hallway? Mr. Bridges prays for the students as he passes their locker. How long has he been doing that? He's been praying for revival since before I got here. Lord knows we need it. Apathy in the school's best bad is our football record. Oh, that reminds me. I think you should go ahead and let David Childers on the team. You see something there? Well, he's just used to playing soccer. He ain't that strong, but he shows promise. All right, I'll give him a shot. you call that junk out there, but it sure wasn't football. Nine drop passes, four fumbles, three interceptions. Their defense scored most of their points. You gave the game away. You can't win football games if you don't play together as a team. You can't win games when you're more concerned about what you're doing afterwards. And you can't learn the plays when you miss practice because you're sitting in detention. I'm sick of the apathy on this team. If we're not here to win football games, then why are we here?
So, do you agree with him? I don't know. I guess. Only a few guys on the team really seem to care. So, are you ready to play in the game? I don't know why they would use me when they've got Joshua Webster. He can kick a 45-yard field goal. I bet you could, too. Dad, I can barely kick a 35-yard field goal. At the end of the game, kind of glad I didn't play. That way, I can't mess up. That's fear, son. I just don't want to embarrass the team. David, I've asked God since you were a baby that he would show how strong he is in your life. And that through you, people would see how good he is. Then why would he make me so small and weak? To show how mighty he is. Why don't we go ahead and wash up for dinner? We can finish this later. All right. Okay. What were you doing? You missed a spot up there. I thought I could get it for you. I guess I got a little too ambitious. I was just trying to take a swing at it. So, so um, um, what does that mean? I mean, uh, is there a procedure or... Um... I mean, what are my options? Grant, first you need to realize this is a fairly common problem for men. There are thousands of couples who are unable to have children. You do have options. Although there's only a 10% chance of success, many couples have tried in vitro fertilization. We can't afford that. Well, the other option is to adopt a child. But it's about as expensive either way. If you're interested, I'll put you in touch with a local agency. I realize this is difficult for you to hear, but at least you and your wife can make the best decision now that you know where you are. Sorry, I didn't realize anybody was still here. Hey, Steve. You putting in late hours tonight? Yeah, I guess so. I can lock up. You can take off. All right. Thanks, Coach. Settling for second best. You can let him go with as much class as you want to. Alvin, he's a good man. I'm not saying he's not a good man. I'm saying he's not a good coach. Right, come on, Dan, just look at the facts. His record speaks for itself. We need new leadership. I still think he deserves more time. More time? He's had six years. If he was capable of winning, he'd have done it by now. 